Hi, I'm Bryce Perrin from CPAP Direct. In this video, I'm gonna cover the new N20 nasal mask by ResMed. So up until this point, ResMed's current nasal mask was called the N10, which in my mind wasn't the greatest mask nasal mask out there. They've since released the N20, which in my opinion is a huge, huge upgrade or step forward from the N10 that it came from. When you look at this mask, it looks like a hybrid of a whole heap of different masks, but they seem to have taken the best of the other different brands and they've rolled it together into one particular mask. And you know what? They've got the seal really, really well. So I'm going to show you how this mask looks. When you get an N20 mask, it should come in a box like this. If it doesn't, then you've got a, a copy or an inferior product. Um, and they put a lot of time and effort into designing the, the box, a bit like Apple do with their products as well. So it opens up quite nicely. And out comes the mask. Very well packaged. And it also uses a short tube, very similar to the N10. The short tube has a clip on it, which is designed to, for easy release if you go into the bathroom in the middle of the night. So the cushion on the N20 is a new design. They've made a really soft part there for the bridge of the nose and also underneath um, on the, the top of the lip as well, maintaining the, uh, the firmness around the edges. The upside to this mask is you can get a really, really good seal without it being tight at all. Um, some people have called it an infinity seal because of the way that it, it sits on the face. Really snug, very, very comfortable to have on the face. Nothing on the forehead either. So the forehead is nice and clear for uh, glasses or just for people that are claustrophobic and don't want to have a lot of headgear. Like the N10, they kept the magnet idea. And this is a real uh, game changer for people that have got arthritis in the fingers because it's really easy to clip on and off. A lot of clips and hooks can be quite hard on the fingers. This is very, very easy to get on and off. And they've moved the magnets back as well so that they don't dig into the cheeks. One of the things I didn't like about the N10 was when I was lying on my side, I'd end up with a crater in my cheek from the magnets. Whereas this is set back a lot further, which is great. One of the downsides to that is if you have a pacemaker, you, you just want to make sure that, uh, check with your cardiologist to make sure it's okay to be using a, a, a CPAP mask that's got magnets on it. Um, but, and the other thing is that the released headgear that came with it, bearing in mind this has only just been released, is quite small. So if you've got a really big head, then, uh, then it, it would really pay to come and have a proper fitting done in one of the clinics to make sure that the headgear is going to be right for you. Because uh, we have struggled with some people with some big heads. Now, bearing in mind, ResMed may release, uh, uh, change the headgear or, or bring out bigger headgear for, uh, for this mask as it rolls out. It's only just been released, so um, they're still getting some feedback on how that works. So I'll put the N20 on so you can see how it fits. The nose piece goes on first. Pull the headgear over the back. And as you can see, the magnets clip on nice and easy. The short tube is connected to your long tube, and then the elbow clips into the front like that. It spins all the way around, so you can have the, uh, the tube up high or down, down below, depending on how you like to sleep with your CPAP mask. Um, and it, there's a couple of little tabs there that you press to release that if you want to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Great for somebody, as I said, with a standard size head. Um, but uh, just make sure that you check that first. Very, very comfortable mask to wear. Exit air still comes out of the front. Um, they haven't found a way to completely diffuse that. All in all, comfortable mask, 100% better than the N10, and uh, I think it's going to be a real winner for ResMed.